Yeah, we're back, folks. Uh, some of us. It's going to be a catchphrase, that, isn't it? Either that or it's going to be on my P45. But, um, yeah, we've had a... <laughs> I've had a, a communication from Doris in the... Where's she? Oh, God. Terminal illness ward. Uh, apparently, Doris isn't too uh, chuffed about me um, babbling on, as she puts it. Which is a very nice way of saying I talk too much. Uh, fair play to you, Doris. I know I do have um, I do have a tendency to go off on tangents from now and again. Tangents, but not tangerines. You know, I don't want to come in here talking about fruit when all you lot are uh, obviously malnu- mal malnutritioned, malnourished. Mal- you're all mal something. Mal. Malpractice, probably. So uh, Doris, who's yeah, she's uh, she's not got long left. Bless her. You know, probably had a good lap. She's 17. What happened to her? She went, she stepped in a lift. Uh, but there was no lift and she fell 14 floors down the shaft. And she survived. She Oh, she's got cable burns on her. 98% cable burns. They don't know, they don't know how to degree cable burns yet. You know, like you get first, second, third degree burns. When it's off a metal cable, when you fall 14 floors, apparently, they don't have a definition of degree of burn. So she's, well, she's got a lot of metal strands stuck in her face and other bits, I presume. So, uh, 17, imagine your mum and dad calling you Doris at 17. Well, obviously they didn't call you Doris at 17, probably when you were a little baby. Unless they call you something like, uh, quagmire and then after a bit they thought she's getting a lot of grief at school let's change her name to something like Doris and people just you know think she's an old woman who's I don't know anyway but Doris um, I'm sorry that I babble on love you know I promise I won't do it anymore uh, and I, you know the doctors are telling me that there's a chance she might not pull through uh, it's really sad to her you know our day all, always comes some of us some of us have got about 40 or 50 years in front of us, gleaming career and, uh, you know, lots of holidays to look forward to. Unfortunately, some of us haven't. But for you, Doris, thinking of you, primarily, I'm going to play you the final countdown by Europe. Classic rock, you can't go wrong. If that doesn't put you to sleep, nothing will, babe. Yeah, I've just had a... I've actually had a second email from Doris, who's, uh, you know, it's looking a bit grim, love, but uh, hang on in there. Hang on to the nurse. Don't let them go. Don't let the nurse. You know, like, they go, oh, you're going to be all right, and they walk off, and 20 minutes later, you can't, aren't you? When you see that machine nearly flatline, hang on to them. Say, no, I insist. You know, like when you go to the doctors and say, I've got this, I've got that, and they go, oh, here's a, here's a prescription for a tea bag, and send you home. Don't take it. Hang on to the nurses. Even, like, get a knife, you know, get your knife from your chicken and sausage butties, and hold it to a groin or something and say, bring a doctor now, so I'm going to... Stab you with this plastic knife in in the apron. Don't let them push you about. You know what I mean. I know it's the NHS, but it doesn't mean what it could have meant. But um, anyway, Doris uh, has told me that um, before she goes, she'd just like to send a dedication to her husband, who's in the is in the ward for remedial care. I don't know what remedial care means. But um, she said he's uh, he's been suffering from Alzheimer's for a while, and uh, she just wanted to, you know, maybe say a last goodbyes over the airwaves. Um, so I think I'll play Simply Red if you don't know me by now, which is uh, very appropriate. There we go. Bit of red, bit of simply, bit of McCuckney, red and pimply. Lovely. 